In this video, I'm gonna talk about the three-step process to build a $10,000 per month digital marketing agency in 2019. And I'm gonna give an update on what I've been doing the past seven months because that's how long it's been since I've uploaded to my channel. So let's jump right into it. A $10,000 per month digital marketing agency is best broken down into five clients paying you $2,000 per month each in monthly retainers. Now let's jump onto my computer and I'm gonna break this down for you in clear, simple steps. All right, so here we are in the whiteboard and what we're gonna do here is really break down a $10,000 per month agency. And like I've told you, the easiest way to look at this is five clients. So one, two, three, four, five each paying you 2K per month. So 2K, 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 2K. And then collectively, this is your $10,000 per month agency, 120K a year, your six figure online business. Now let's, let's drill into how exactly we get a business to pay us $2,000 per month. So let's just drill into one of these things. Now, for this, I'm gonna use the example of a dentist. Um, we have a few dental clients, and to be honest, personally with our agency, we have gotten the best results for a dentist, and that's for a few reasons. Now, the our dentist pays us $2,000 per month in management fee, and an additional $2,000 per month in ad spend. And this ad spend here goes to Google, and it goes to Facebook. And it goes, the way we do it at our agency is we do about 80% Google ads and 20% Facebook ads. Now, this is a total of $4,000 out of the dentist's pocket each month. And they're paying $4,000 and what we're doing is we are getting them approximately 30 new patients every month, okay? So 30 new patients. Now, I'm gonna show you why our dentists are happy to pay us $2,000 a month to manage the campaign, and they're happy to pay $2,000 a month to Google and Facebook for a total of $4,000 out of their pocket. Because the lifetime value of a new patient for a dentist is depending on where you look, I've seen it quoted from anywhere from 2K to 20k plus and the reason why the lifetime value of a dental patient is so high for a dentist is because it's not just the dental client that comes in it's the fact that he can sometimes be a patient for 10 plus years and he's going to bring members of his family and friends in as well so he's going to get all these referral people coming in and all of this is just fr is one of the 30 new patients we've generated that dentist every single month. So I'll show you some references here so you guys know I'm not just making up this lifetime value number of 2K to 20K. So this is one website here that cites lifetime value of 24,000. Uh, this is another website here that cites lifetime value for a dentist of 16,000. And you guys can do this Google search as well. And here's another more conservative estimate of the lifetime value of 2000. So even if we assume that the true lifetime value is 2000 and people will have different opinions of this at $2,000 value generated per new patient. So the amount of value that we're generating our dental client every month is 30 new patients times $2,000 lifetime value per patient. So this is $60,000. And if we go back here, let's just, um, sorry about that. If, so if we go back and look, they're paying $4,000 per month to get $60,000 per month of value. So you can see that any business person is gonna be happy to accept this deal. And once you know how to get the results right here, the 30 new patients every month, uh, clients will happily pay you $4,000 between you and the media platforms in order to bring them 
the results, which is worth $60,000 per month to them. So every month this client works with us, they are making a profit of uh, $56,000. And now the next question you're probably wondering is, okay, this all looks great, but how do I convince dentists to work with me and how do I get my five dental clients? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. So the goal is to get your five clients. Now, what you want to do in the beginning is what I would suggest doing is offering to work for free for a client until you get them results and then you leverage those results to get more clients. So let's say still using dentists as an example and it doesn't have to be dentists. It could be other industries as well. Let's say we're using dentists and we approach a dental office and say, hey, I'm going to manage $2,000 of ad spend for you, uh, invested in Google and Facebook, and I'm going to do it for free. And the reason I want to do it for free is I'm building my business. And all I ask in return is that if we get you great results, which I'm confident we will, that you give us a testimonial. So you and this is a very compelling pitch because you're offering to add value to the business for free. So you go around and you find a bunch of dentists and you pitch them this. And just to show you guys, it's not hard to find dentists. You just go to Google and type in dentist and pick a city. Let's say we're looking for a dentist in Toronto. Um, you go to dentist Toronto and we can simply go to our Google Maps search here. You know, people always ask me, what's the best way to find clients in the beginning? You know, what software should I use? What system should I use? And you don't need any specific software. You just have to open up um, Google Maps and type in Dentist Toronto. And all of this, all of these here are dentists. And then, you know, as you zoom out, there's literally hundreds of dentists that you can browse through on this list. And when you click one, it's going to show you their phone number. It's going to show you their website. It's going to show you their address. And on their website, they will have um, an email form box. So if you approach enough of those dentists, let's say you, you know, make a goal of approaching 25 every single day, and you can do this through sending out mail outs, through calling them, through approaching them in person. And I'll talk more about this in other videos. If you do that consistently for a couple of weeks, you're going to find one that's going to give you a shot and be happy to work with you because remember you're offering to do this completely for free and once you find one that is okay to work with you then you go back to here and you use the google ads you use the facebook ads and these are simple ads that we set up to generate them a lot of new patients per month and the beautiful thing about this is you know let's say that in because you're new at digital marketing you your campaigns aren't optimized and you're only able to generate them 15 new patients per month. At $2,000 lifetime value per patient, you are still generating them 30K per month. And their total investment with you, because this is a trial uh, client, is only $2,000 per month. So they're investing $2,000 and they're making $30,000, which is still an incredible deal for them. And they'll be more than happy to give you a testimonial. And this is key. What you want to do is get a testimonial, ideally a video, and then you use this testimonial. You go back to your list of dentists and you send them this testimonial and you tell them you have a proven system that you've tried with other dentists that works and it generates results. And with leveraging the result of your trial client, you can go out and get your five clients. Now, it's not you know, you ha you're going to have to approach a lot of dentists. Let's say it takes one to 200 approaches to get each new client. You know, that sounds like a lot when you, oops, that's an extra zero there. It sounds like a lot when you look at it like this, but it's very conceivable that you can reach out to, um, yeah, you can reach out to, let's say if you really are hustling, you can reach out to 50 clients per day or 50 uh, prospects per day. Now, if it's going to take you 100 to 200, let's be really conservative and say it's going to take you 200 uh, approaches. You have to go talk to 200 dentists or, uh, or send some sort of outbound communication to them before they agree to say yes. So 200 
times five is going to be 1,000. So you're gonna have to approach 1,000 businesses to get five of them to say yes. Now, that is actually gonna be able to be completed quite quickly. If we take 1,000 businesses divided by uh, 50 per day, that is, let's see, that's literally 20 days of prospecting to go and get five clients and build a six-figure business. Now, let's take a step back here. I'll admit, you're probably not gonna be able to build a six-figure business in 20 days. Other things are gonna come up. You have to learn the digital marketing skills. You have to work with the clients as you go, make sure they're getting results, and it's not gonna be quite this fast. But this is just meant to illustrate a point in that if you really hustled and approached a ton of clients in a niche, got your free sample client, and leverage that result to get five more clients in that niche, it's possible to build a six-figure agency in a relatively short amount of time. And guys, the last thing I wanna say is I just use dentists as an example. Any type of niche where the client has a large lifetime value per conversion works really, really well. So on to the next topic here. I wanna give you guys a quick update of what I've actually been doing the last seven months because I haven't posted a video in a long time. So long story short is I've really doubled down on building my agency itself. I've got it up to the six figure mark, which is incredibly exciting. And I'm, you know, all I can say is that if you watch my videos, my earlier videos on this channel, you know, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. I was going in so many different directions. And yeah, at this point, having built a six-figure online business, having built a business that comfortably supports a, a cost of living in Vancouver here is incredible. And the two things I'm most grateful for is number one, that I had the audacity to quit my job and start this journey. And number two is that I stuck with it long enough until I, you know, I actually figured it out and I didn't give up on it. So things are awesome. And what I wanna share with you guys are my four goals for 2019 related to my business. I will, if you guys follow my Instagram, I already posted this earlier this morning. So I'm gonna post that here for you to see. But yeah, really quickly, here are my four goals. The first one is to double the revenue of my digital marketing agency, North Digital. This has been my driving force so far. My most energy has been put into this. I have systems that work. I have a team and now I just wanna scale that further. Um, my second priority is to ensure every single one of my clients earns at least a five times return on investment. Client, client service excellent and delivering incredible value to my client is really important to me. And the third thing I wanna do is I wanna help people build six-figure digital marketing agencies the right way. I truly think that building a digital marketing agency is the best way to get into entrepreneurship, is the best first online business to build. And for people that have that itch to build something of their own, to build something that gives them that kind of freedom, and just to own their business rather than working for someone else, I want to empower those people and help them build the business they wanna build. And the fourth goal, which is something I'm really excited about, and this is more of a long time, a long-term goal, is I wanna start a partner program with my agency. And what this means is that I wanna partner with businesses and instead of taking a management fee from them, I wanna just partner with businesses where I think there's a huge potential for the business to explode, have exponential growth, rapidly grow their revenue through digital marketing. And these could be startup businesses, businesses that don't have enough revenue to pay for our services on a monthly retainer model yet. And what I wanna do is partner with them in terms of having a piece of equity in the business or with a long share or a long-term revenue share situation. So these would literally be our partners that we would grow with together. So those are the four things I'm focused on. I'm going to commit to producing more content here on this channel. A huge part of this YouTube channel is going to be to help people start six-figure digital marketing agencies because yeah, my journey in building my online business has completely changed my life and opened so many doors. So that's everything for today, guys. Sorry it's been so long since I've up, uploaded a video. Shoot me a comment down below. I'll answer all of them myself. And until next time, see you later. Survive.